Good evening. I'll call the meeting to order at 615 for the September 27th Cedar Springs Public School School Board meeting. And if you'll rise with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And Secretary Slager is running late. She had a work engagement, so I'll go ahead and call the roll. Vice President Schaffner? Here. Secretary Slager is running late. Treasurer Gilmore? Here. Trustee Vanderheide? Here. Trustee Brevard? Here. Trustee Bowser? Here. President Reed? Here. We have established a quorum. And that brings us to the adoption of the agenda. And I would entertain a motion. So moved. Support. Any discussion? If none, Vice President Schaffner? Yes. Second, uh, Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderheide? Yes. Trustee Brevard? Yes. Trustee Bowser? Yes. President Reed? Yes. The agenda is adopted as presented. And that brings us to gratitudes. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I just wanted to say that we're grateful for the life of Kevin Martin, the seventh grade teacher that we lost um, since our last meeting. And thank you to staff for opening up the stadium. So we had a, they had a visitation there and that was very welcomed by the community and the football team and the family. So I just wanted to pay a tribute to, to Mr. Martin. Any other gratitudes? Uh, I had a parent uh, talk to me last week and she just wanted to let us know that Mrs. Debris and Mrs. Underwood, her, her child's children's teachers are fantastic and her kids are doing great. And so I wanted to thank them specifically, but also all of our staff and teachers because they're all wonderful and I'm thankful that they are here. Great. Yeah. I would like to just echo uh, your sentiment for Ms. Martins. Uh, he was a really good teacher and both my kids had him and they just expressed how much they learned and benefited from his teaching. And uh, it was a sad loss, but uh, out of that, it was just great to see the community come together and really celebrate his life. So grateful for that. So I am grateful for several things. Um, I am grateful that Hannah Visser was uh, recognized by WZZM 13 as their first teacher of the week uh, for the 2021-2022 school year. She was nominated by uh, one of the parents of, of one of her teachers or one of her students, excuse me. And um, just to hear the things that the parents said and shared that they appreciated most about uh, Mrs. Visser and just to watch her response uh, to hearing those kind words uh, was very gratifying. It just really meant a lot to her just to be recognized and, and um, as good leaders do, uh, she quickly uh, made mention of all of the great people that, that work around her and to help support uh, the, the mission at Cedar Trails and at Cedar Springs Community Schools or Public Schools. And so for that, I was greatly appreciative. I was really appreciative of the work of uh, Victor Matulis and our uh, facilities team today as they jumped at the ready to help diagnose uh, an electrical problem that we had not above the ground, but below the ground. Uh, and his quick thinking and the team's quick thinking helped us uh, recognize what areas of the district we had to shut down for the day and um, I, I feel badly we never want to make those calls that late uh, in the day because we know that it has a negative influence on families but um, just the quick response of the facilities team was outstanding and then the, the quickness uh, in terms of the response from consumers energy you know they were able to come in and diagnose you know pinpoint the problem within a, a, a six foot by six foot square dig a hole, <laughs> yep, that's where the problem is, 
fix it, and now we're back up and running for tomorrow. So it was, uh, you know, it's one thing to have uh, problems, and you can see them obviously when they're when a wire is failed above your head. But when it's below ground, it's pretty miraculous that they can identify the spot within such a tight tight window and get it done and get us back in operational uh, within a, about a 12 hour span. Uh, so we were appreciative of that. Well, it's fixed, fixed now or? It's fixed, fixed, we're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are ready to go for tomorrow. I first thought of that. that's a mistake. No, that's real. <laughs> so it was just a team effort and just a, a neat, neat example of hard work and, uh, and smart work. Thank you. All right, we'll move on to our consent items and I would entertain a motion. So moved. Support. I'll the vote. Vice President Schaffner? Yes. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderheim? Yes. Trustee Brevard? Yes. Trustee Bowser? Yes. President Reed, I'm abstaining for familial conflict because my son's going to be this Sunday. So. Yep. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll move on to discussion. And we have one item on for discussion, and it is a second read. We just had a few grammatical things that we tweaked. It didn't change any of the content, but basically, it's our curriculum policy that is clarifying curriculum expectations from the board, and it's addressing uh, issues surrounding CRT or critical race theory. Yeah, I think um, this is really the third time that we've looked at it. Um, Tracy had shared some wonderings about one of the one of the sections that was just very wordy. And the more we have looked at it, there was nothing that uh, our legal counsel had recommended that we change within that paragraph. Uh, and as we continue to read it and try to revamp it, we we saw the best solution for the overall clarity of the of the document. To simply remove it uh, because those ideas were stated in other other aspects of the document so it does read top to bottom much more clear for people ultimately that's what we want thank you questions great all right we'll move on then to public comment and this is the time that the board would hear the um, comments from the public and it would be a time to make your three minutes in sharing with us. We don't follow up at this time, but Mr. Smith would follow up after the meeting. So do we have any speakers for public comments? Second call for public comment. Great, seeing no takers. We will move on then, and we're at our action items. And before us tonight, we have policy 2521, selection of instructional resources, discussion topics, and equipment. And I will entertain a motion for as presented. So moved. Support. Any discussion? Having none, Vice President Schaffner? Yes. Secretary Slager? Oh, sorry, she's not here. Treasurer Gilmore? Yes. Trustee Vanderheim? Yes. Trustee Rivard? Yes. Trustee Bowser? Yes. President Reed? Yes. Motion carries. That brings us to the communication portion of our meeting. And any emails that we've received, you've all received them via blind carbon copy, and that information has been shared back and forth. And since our um, September 13th meeting, we were able to, um, well, Sparta was a, we were working with Sparta. We had a meeting with Kent ISD, Adam London, and Kent County Health Department, which in light of the government with the budget coming out with the wording in it, that meeting was canceled. Um, but now there's other talk about how that wording is gonna go in the budget. So I, there is continued discussion um, in still having that meeting and it still could happen. So we'll see, but as we know, it's a, it's fluid, it's changing minute by minute, and it's shifting. Um, the issue is shifting with masks and everything and the mandates. So I'll keep you posted, but it's not off the table. And yeah. so from what you're saying, last I heard it was kind of still in there, but they might have reworded it. Is that what you're saying? Or? 
or is she gonna or is the governor gonna be gonna tell the gonna line it? It's it's been talked about both ways. I've not seen anything concrete. I've only seen um, rumors. So I was gonna ask that same question because I thought there was an agreement between the governor's office and um, others about you know holding the line on that negotiation, but then I thought I also saw a comment that that her office may have made about uh, vetoing a portion of that. So then I was really confused. I have no idea what the agreement was or where we're at with that. I would agree. It's gone in yeah. yeah. So it's, well, it's, I guess until it hits our desk, we're not going to know. We're not going to know until it's actually signed. Mm -hmm. And then we'll know. So, and Misty, you're going next week to the behind the scenes legislation. This week, Wednesday. This week, Wednesday. Okay. Yep. I'll be in Lansing at the Capitol. So she's prepared to ask questions and um, see what she can find out uh, that way too. So we've got that before now. Thank you for doing that. And I just wanted to say to the board, um, thank you. As we move through all of this correspondence and things, um, we it's always civility, we, even though sometimes we might not, not that we disagree, but everyone is just um, working together well. So it's just honest work on the table and I appreciate that of you all. And the staff. Uh, the only thing I included in board work was just a copy of the flyer from the Kent ISD Board of Education inviting uh, all board members throughout the county and administrators to come and join them for their annual fall dinner meeting. Uh, so this uh, specific meeting is on Wednesday, October 13th. Um, Dr. Tammy Campo is uh, going to be speaking. She is outstanding. Uh, as a leader, she is someone who, uh, the first time I heard her speak, I was like, oh my, uh, I need to be more like her because uh, if in doing so, uh, I would step up my game. Um, but she really just has a, a passion for uh, serving others, but most importantly, uh, her success lies in her, uh, her work around you know, listening to students, listening to the the voices of the students. And um, when I first heard her start to talk about that, I thought, oh my goodness, why didn't I do this 25 years ago? <laughs> because it just seems so obvious. Uh, but she's very intentional about that work. It, uh, it, it's just, it's inspiring. Uh, so uh, Dr. Campbell will be speaking. Uh, and then also they're going to be honoring uh, the work of Joanne Hovickson uh, over the, the first 18 months of the uh, pandemic. Uh, and so those two uh, components will make for a, a new evening. Uh, so if you're interested in, in going, uh, please let me know by September 3rd, and then I'll make sure that we get you registered. And uh, it, it's just a good night. So it'll be fun if you can make it. Thank you. You're welcome. We're good. on to planning and our next meeting is October 11th at 6 45 and it will be right here and as there's no more business before the board we will stand adjourned at 6 20. Okay. Thank you. I think you set a record.